Oh, look at them. Look at them all. Just hanging out together. Whew. I'll think about it, Kevin. Hey. Why don't hey. you back off, Kevin? Hey. Hey. Kevin. Come here, Kev. Come on, Kev. What are you doing, Kevin? I missed. Someone just. Kevin! Who just jumped? Who was parachuting just now? Hey. Was I you? It's Kai okay. up here on yellow. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Come to me. Oh, shit. Come on. Boy, bruv. Do you think that offensive um, stereotypes are appropriate for a sponsored stream, Vern? Because What? What stereotype? Bruv? We're careless and... Call each other bruv. Somewhat offensive That's impersonation great. of UK mm. people. You're terrible. Uh, sure. Oh, 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 I'm brav. <laughs> oh, I'm offended. Oh my God! Hit him! Do something! I broke his armor. <laughs> well, I, did you shoot him? There, the rest of them are behind, like. Good one. One's coming to the gas station right now. Two of them. Two of them. Hit one. Okay. Oh no! Is he on you? Yeah, he's in. Yeah, yes, yes, he's in the building. He's second story. Crossing. Tag. Another one coming. It sounds like running. You just went to the top, Vern, of this building. There's two in this. I need help. I just, he just shot a rocket at me? Shot a rocket at you? He's shooting rockets. I downed one in here. There's another one. He's just shooting rockets down this hallway. And yeah, I'm dead. Cracked That's, him? That is obnoxious. Imagine. There's two over there, Vern. He's literally shooting that far corner. and Oh, I, sh I hit him through the wall. <sighs> Two in there, Vern. And get in the car and bounce. Coming out Talk. All right. We are back. Um, yesterday, I started a, uh, a project here of a, uh, a task I've always wanted to try, and that is making my own dice. Um, and so we are, uh, we, yesterday we made a stream where we cast the, uh, the silicone and we made these, uh, these little silicone molds. Uh, to put the dice in, to, to cast the dice into, um, and then we uh, then we made another stream where we poured the resin into these, uh, well not these ones, but the ones that are in the pressure pot down here, um, these molds here, and then um, we put them in the pressure pot and we left them overnight, and the pressure pot is still pressurized. We are going to take them out of the pressure pot now and demold them. The epoxy isn't fully cured yet, so um, they'll probably be, have a little tackiness to them, um, be a little soft. So we're going to do our best to be gentle with them, but they should be uh, molded well enough to demold them. So I'm going to take this pressure pot here, and we're going to set it back up on the uh, table here. We're going to try to get this inside the camera view here. Um, all right, so I'm going to. Oh, first, gotta let the pressure out. I'm gonna mute the microphone for right now, and uh, we're gonna let the pressure out of the pressure pot. Phone, because uh, as you can hear, it's a little bit loud. I've got actually got it on kind of low here, but. Um, I'm muting the microphone so when I release the pressure a little harder here in a second, it's not going to blow your ears out.
pressure has been released. So now we can take off these uh, these big screws here and uh, get to see what's happened on the inside. Hopefully I didn't tip them over earlier. We were doing this before and they all appear to be standing upright. That is perfect. So let's take them out and take a look at them. They do seem to be set well enough, at least at the surface, for us to demold some of these. It really smells like the silicone in there, so hopefully the silicone wasn't still curing. I mean, it's not super strong. It's not like, I mean, I guess it's about what I would expect it to be from fresh molds. Hey, Bernard. Hey, Allison. So, um, we'll start off with D4 here. Ooh, actually, let's not start off with it. No, wait. Uh, let's start off in the way that I actually molded these. So, um, the D8, I believe, here. This is our perfectly clear one. You can see that that pressure pot's really done a good job. You can see right down to the uh, to the hole with the uh, from the sprue here. We filled the sprue all the way up, so you can kind of see it kind of shimmer there. Um, and uh, but if you look in there, I know it's really kind of blurry on the camera there. Let's see if I can get this to focus. Um, but you can see right through it. There's no bubbles, uh, which is fantastic. That gives me a lot of hope for the dice themselves. So I'm just going to kind of pull this apart like, uh, and just hopefully we can get the dice out of here nice and easily. Ooh, look at that. You guys can see it in there. Uh. No, the camera's not going to focus on it, is it? Focus camera. Yeah, fine. Let me get it out and we'll I'll show it to you then. Um, realizing a small issue with the, uh, the way I cast these. I'm not really sure how to get... I didn't cut through the hole from the sprue to the die itself. And so I think I have to do that to get it out, because the silicone's holding it in then. Um, where is my X-Acto blade? There it is. I think I can get this. You know what? It's a little tacky on the sides. I wonder if this is a good idea. You know what? I might end the stream a little bit early because that one's a little tacky on the inside and it's very soft. Um, this is a 48 hour epoxy. Um, I was under the impression that I could probably pull it out after a day or so. Um, it hasn't quite been a full day yet either. Um, so I guess that's another thing. But um, I mean, I don't. I don't think that I need to like keep the tape on here. I think we can kind of open them up and look at them. We just won't be able to pull them out of the molds right now. The 
focus camera spell. Yeah, exactly. So I'm going to take the tape off. We'll take a look at them, see what the colors look like, because they've done some interesting things, actually. All right, this is the D4. It's going to be the most difficult to remove out of here. Um, but I'll show you. I wish I could make the camera focus well enough for you to see it. Um, so it's you can kind of see the the shimmer of the the pearl uh, pigment we used in this one here. All right, the next one was the D twenty. See if I get myself out. Maybe the camera's focusing on it being a human too much. So the D20 was the dye that we uh, poured half of the like white pearl color in and half with a little bit of the purple coloring in. And I might be able to remove this one out of the mold. Hold on. Oh, there we go. Yep, so still a little bit tacky. That's fine. We'll fix it up with. Uh, still quite tacky, actually. Um, here, I'm going to hold it with the tape so I don't get the epoxy all over my fingers. Um, so. Oh my god, I wish you could see this thing. Let's see if we can take this. Sorry if I make anyone sick with motion sickness here. Uh, let's for here. Yeah, I got a little focus there. It's really hard to show with this camera. It just does not want to focus on these dice. Um, with this one though, it seems like. I can't really tell where the uh, where the white color was and where the purple color is. It looks like they've kind of homogenized. Um, either that or like the color also doesn't look very strong. So maybe it's just that that the purple color wasn't enough of a contrast for me to be able to tell uh, where it starts and where it ends. But that's all right. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna set this somewhere without it tipping over now. Oh, I got an idea. Let's take it out of here, out of the tape. The epoxy's still pretty soft, so I'm gonna try not to touch the surface of the die itself. Stick that in there. There we go. So there's uh, there's the D20. That's kind of it looks great. I don't really see any flaws with it to be honest. It looks just like the the die I cast it from, so that's encouraging. Let's take a look at the D12. Now this one I put a lot of the uh, of the purple ink in, and you can tell. So. When we when we mixed it up in the in the cup with the epoxy, um, no matter how much of the purple color I put in there, it ended up looking blue. And uh, I thought that was interesting, um, but it appears oh looks good I think. Um, it appears to have turned purple as it set. So that's awesome. 
Who will it be hard to remove the sprue uh, correctly? Um, or cleanly? Uh, yes and no. So from what I've been watching, um, they use a, a pair of flesh cutters to cut the sprue off, uh, which will leave a blemish behind. Um, oh, look at that. I don't know if you can see it. It's got this nice shimmer to it. Nice amethyst color. Get the camera to focus on it here. There we go. There you go. You see the numbers and everything. Um. So we'll take a we'll take a flush cutters to remove the sprue, and we'll try to leave a little bit of extra, um, so that we can then uh, take some sandpaper and. Uh, and file it down um, until it's nice and smooth and we'll just kind of go from uh, from like kind of like a 200 grit up to like a 600 grit and then you know you keep working your way up until you hit like 16,000 grit or something like that um, you have to do like a wet sanding at that point the the grit is almost indistinguishable from a polish and it feels smooth uh soft and smooth even um and uh and you'll get a mirror finish on it um might even be better than the uh, the silicone cast you won't be able to tell where the sprue is if you do it correctly all right this is the d10 And this one's made from the same epoxy that the D12 was, so it should look pretty similar, just obviously different shape. This one's a little bit in the mold of more than the uh, 12 was. Let's see if we can get it out. There we go. Set it in here. I'll give you a show. Come on. Quit focusing on my desk. Ah. Anyway, I know my camera's terrible, but. I'll take some pictures. Um, actually, I wonder if I could do that. Give me just a second. I'll take some pictures with my phone, and I'll I'll I'll, I'll put them up here on the stream so you can see it a little bit better. Um, let's see if I turn this on, blind everyone there, but you'll be able to see the shine when I actually take the uh, photos with my phone. one second here and I'll I'll pull up these photos on my computer now Emailed them to myself, and uh, set my lamp over there to so be able to see these three die at least the ones I pulled out of their molds. I think I'm gonna keep the D4 in there. 
I might pull the D8 out, we'll see. Um, let's take a look. So, let me get my email up, and we can take a look at this, uh, these photos here. Um, I think if I were to do... Display capture. Ooh, we don't want to do that. Um, all right, let me save the pictures to my computer real quick, and we'll we'll pull them up on here. Let's see, media source. Downloads. Where did I put them? Where did I save them to? Oh, is this not gonna work? Uh, I guess that's not right. Let me see. There we go. Um, I figured this out. Window capture. Perfect. All right. So here's what we got here. Um, here's the D20. You can see it real well in this one how it's got that sort of iridescence to it. I really like that. Let's see. Oh, there's the uh, D10. It looks a little soft. Maybe it's just because I, I pulled it out too soon. It's got like an almost orange peely look to it. Um, I'm thinking that might just be, um, I probably in the future should just leave these in the in the silicone mold for a longer time because they are a little sticky on the outside still. So, zoom in on it. So, here I'll uh, shrink these down to the photo size too and then I can zoom up a little bit. I didn't really touch the die with my fingers though, um, so I don't think they're fingerprints. I, I touched the sprue, which is inside the mold right now, um, but I didn't touch the die. So let's uh, let's go take a look at the. Here's the D12, and I really like the way that this one came out. Um, if I look really closely at them, the other ones kind of have that to them. I think it's just that the the edges haven't cured yet. You kind of see it around the, the edge of the 5 here. But yeah, no, the, the 10 definitely looks the worst of the ones I pulled out, as far as the uh, orange peely look. And then here's the 10 and the 12 next to each other. And it appears like there's some sort of line right here on the uh, on the 12 but it's it's not it's just the camera again back here you can see that that iridescence of the pearl color I really I really like the way that that came out on the on the d20 
can't wait to see it once it's fully cured and we can actually uh, give it a play. So, oh, let me see that. Um, there we go. So yeah, that's it. Um, well, I'm gonna leave the clear one in there and also the uh, the one with just the uh, the pearlescent color in there um, and see if these ones come out any cleaner than with the uh, these ones um, on the white pearl one were there any bubbles um, I don't see any like I this is going to be the most difficult one to remove because it's the uh, it's the D4. It's like a pyramid shaped, so um, it's actually wider at the bottom than it is at top. So I'm not going to try and get in there because I know I'm going to have to remove that one using my fingers, and uh, I don't want to do that. So we'll leave the D4 in there. The D8 I'm going to leave in there just as an experiment to see what happens if we let it uh, completely cure um, while it's still inside the uh, the mold because uh, that's probably a good idea um, these ones are a bit tacky and I'm not sure I want to uh, I want I want to see it, it, how clear I can make this one so if we're messing around with it it's it's not gonna be clear you can tell though like you can barely see the uh, the sprue in here because it's super clear so um, but it is there so I'm I'm excited about that. The uh, the cham the the pressure pot. I almost said chamber pot. That would be a completely different experience. Um, the the pressure pot. It uh, it seems to have done its job for getting out of all those bubbles that I stirred into it when I first started stirring it. Um, so that's <laughs> that's a good thing. Um, and uh, and it looks like we've been able to successfully cast. Um, a few dice here and uh, and so I'm happy with this I'm very happy with this I really love this pearl this purple color with the uh, with the pearl in it 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 looks so good um, I can't wait to actually remove them from the sprues and uh, and clean these up a bit and see what we can get out of them because I really think that these will look good once they're all cleaned up so I don't really have anything else because at this point we're just uh, kind of waiting to let them fully cure and uh, and see what happens. So I'm gonna leave these out and we'll we'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.